Aviation's biggest debate is always Boeing or Airbus. If you go ahead and ask any pilot which one is easier to fly, and you'll end up with a hangar full of opinions. Some say that an Airbus is a dream to fly, giving you the feel of driving a Tesla in the sky. While others swear, Boeing gives you hands down the real pilot experience with full control. So get ready because we're settling the debate once and for all. We'll be looking at things like cockpit design, flight controls, automation, training, safety, and real pilot experience. Cockpit. Let's start right where the pilot sits, the cockpit. If we talk about an Airbus's cockpit, it's quite simple. It offers more space and much less clutter. The Airbus is kind of known for its modern and streamlined design. Their cockpits are like stepping into the future of aviation. Sleek, modern, and brilliantly organized. Honestly, Airbus took a bold approach with the cockpit design. From the groundbreaking A320 series to the futuristic A350, Airbus put the power of information exactly where pilots want it. So instead of scanning rows or analog instruments, everything is already displayed on a large, crystal clear LCD screen. Navigation, speed, altitude, system status, you name it, it'll be there. What's more, in bigger jets like the A350, touchscreen panels allow pilots to interact with maps, checklists, and even flight data. The high-tech glass cockpit also helps in reducing workload, boosting efficiency, and improves focus. On the other hand, Boeing cockpits are where pilots feel at home. Stepping into one of these bad boys is the equivalent to getting behind the wheel of a high-performance machine. With its classic filled switches and dials, Boeing keeps that traditional pilot feel alive and no one's complaining. Unlike Airbus's ultra-simplified design, Boeing's approach gives you that hands-on connection with the aircraft. You are flipping real switches and turning knobs. It's aviation in its purest form. And that's why Boeing is a great choice for pilots who are used to older or more analog aircraft. The cockpits instantly feel familiar and it's easier for them to adjust. Another exciting thing about Boeing is that it's built for aviators who love to fly. The layout puts everything that you need within arm's reach. And it's not just about pushing buttons. Instead, it's about engaging with the jet on a mechanical level. So if you're someone who wants to feel the aircraft respond to your every move and loves the thrill of hands-on flying, Boeing might be the one for you. Controlling systems. When it comes to aircrafts, the most important thing about them is how you control them. That's what hooks in a pilot. Like we said before, Boeing keeps it pretty classic. It has the iconic center-mounted yoke, the steering wheel of the skies. The yoke helps pilots sense the movement of the aircraft, the pressure on the controls, and the most exciting part is that you can even see your co-pilot's inputs as their yoke moves in sync with yours. Some pilots perceive this as a feeling of connection and control, like they are the one calling the shots. On the other hand, Airbus rewrote the rulebook with their side stick control system. The side stick looks more like a gaming joystick that's mounted on the side of the pilot's seat. It's sleek and saves up space, which makes it popular among most pilots. Another fun fact is that the plane is 100% fly-by-wire, meaning every movement is interpreted electronically by computer. This results in a smooth handling and minimal pilot effort. However, there's one drawback. Unlike Boeing's linked yokes, Airbus's side stick aren't physically connected. So if one pilot can move their stick, the other won't even feel it. So, if a pilot is in for the mechanical feel and old school vibes, then yoke is your jam. But if a pilot prefers the tech forward flight experience, then you can count on Airbus's side stick to feel at home. Either way, both these controlling systems will take your flying experience to another level. Engine. Next up is the main star of the show, the engine. These aircrafts don't just settle for power. They look for performance, innovation, and efficiency. Now, none of the two aircrafts build their own engines, but they have partnered with the biggest and most trusted names in the business, General Electric, Rolls-Royce, Pratt and & Whitney, and CFM International. The engine type solely depends on what the company wants in a particular airplane model. Is it fuel efficiency or lower maintenance costs? Let's take a look at Boeing. These jets are known as the powerhouses in the sky, and for good reason. The Boeing 777X is powered by GE9X, the largest and the most powerful commercial jet engine ever made. If you are wondering about how big these are, well, you can easily fit a 737 fuselage inside the fan. 
When it comes to Boeing, they design their aircrafts with raw performance in mind for long-haul and transcontinental flights. Some of their models, like the 787 Dreamliner, are optimized to fly even further by burning less fuel. The 737 MAX Boeing, for one, is fitted with larger and newer engines to boost efficiency. Now, let's have a look at Airbus. One thing's for sure, this is where technology takes center stage. Airbus has close connections with engine manufacturers to build aircrafts that are smarter and more efficient. A 32 Neo is a great example. It's known for its quiet, eco-friendly engines. They are also designed to burn less fuel. Airbus also focuses more on system harmony. Jets like A350 are built to be lighter, more aerodynamic, and smarter in how it uses engine power. This results in a smooth flying experience and lower fuel bills. Automation and system management. Next up, we'll be looking at automation and system management. Airbus is hailed as the industry leader when it comes to fly-by-wire technology. Their system isn't only about replacing cables and pulleys with electronic signals. Instead, it's about building intelligence directly into the controls. Airbus's fly-by-wire includes something called flight envelope protection. What does it do, you ask? Well, it creates an invisible safety boundary around the aircraft's performance. Now, is that a bad thing for pilots or a good thing? The answer is pretty simple. With this system in place, the aircraft won't let you do anything dangerous. You can't stall the plane, overbank it, or pitch it into a dive. If you try to do something like that, the computer steps in and says, nope, not safe, and overrides the command. This works for many pilots as it reduces the risk of fatal mistakes and allows them to focus more on managing the flight. On the other hand, Boeing takes a different approach. Though modern aircrafts like the 777 and 787 do use fly-by-wire technology, they maintain a philosophy that places the pilot squarely in control. Boeing's system is there to give you a heads up, alarming you or assisting, but it won't override the command. So, if a Boeing pilot wants to push the aircraft to its limits, the plane will alert the pilot but not override the system. The pilot's the one who has the final say. So, if you ask us which one's better, well, there's no clear answer. While some prefer Airbus's computer-guarded flight environment, others prefer the pilot-first approach. They appreciate the manual feedback and get the feeling of actually flying the plane. Airbus prioritizes automation and error prevention, while Boeing is more sensitive towards pilot authority. So at the end of the day, it's not about which aircraft is better, but instead, which one is better for you. Safety and human factors. Of course, we need to keep in mind safety and human factors as well before the final verdict. And rest assured, one thing's crystal clear. Both Boeing and Airbus are at the top of their game in this department. Neither of them are aircrafts that you get to fly on a whim. They are engineering marvels tested under extreme conditions. Both of them are constantly being updated with the latest aviation technology. Every bolt sensor software update is reviewed and verified before any passenger steps on board. Safe to say, it's their relentless commitment to compliance and safety standards that gives Boeing and Airbus their rock-solid reputations. Both jets are packed with redundant systems. If one system fails, another instantly kids in. From hydraulic backups to electrical redundancies and fail-safe flight control systems, nothing's left out. So, there's nothing to worry about when you are either traveling across continents in a Boeing 787 or cruising at 38,000 feet in an Airbus A350. These machines will keep you safe even when something goes wrong. At the end of the day, there are clear differences between the two planes. Figuring out which one is better is not that easy though. Both aircrafts have their pros and cons. And so, at the end of the day, it comes down to a pilot's personal preferences. But what do you think? Does Airbus win this one for you? Or are you a Boeing fan? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more. Until next time.